So we've got new news coming out about the Ironfish FPGAs on the Ironfish network, obviously. So I made a video seven days ago talking about these FPGAs in the multi-miner, as you can see there, that's the video on it. And I talked about how the bit streams would be coming out soon for Team Red Miner. And subsequently, today we have the official uh, release of Team Red Miner. Well, actually it was 12 hours ago. However, I just woke up and saw this. So we have added support for Ironfish algorithm on FPGAs. So you can see the FPGA Ironfish guide in the actual text file on Team Red Miner. So basically we're going to be looking at where to buy these boards because I know that FPGAs is kind of hard to find which boards are which because it's not exactly like GPUs where everyone has readily available information on FPGAs. They're kind of like a niche thing. However, I'm going to show you where to buy them and what the profits are for each of these FPGAs that we have so far on Ironfish. So in the Team Red Miner Discord, you can see that a lot of people are testing out and the latest one that has come out is for the CVP13. So it says here that they're getting 140 giga hash on 0.856 volts, or I believe that would be 86 watts. But they did say not recommended for daily use and you need good cooling. So it's probably gonna take a lot more at the wall. Here we have an example of a CVP13, they're liquid cooled FPGAs. I'm gonna link all the places to buy them in the description below so you guys can actually take a look at how to buy these and where to buy them from. Now these are very expensive, the CVP13s. I know that they originally had an FPGA bitstream for Ergo, I think, that was coming out surely for these. However, uh, it is a high price for these FPGAs. So I wouldn't actually recommend buying one of these just to mine iron fish. If you have one lying around, then you know it'd be pretty good. However, we're gonna look at profitability here. So in the Discord, they had 140 giga hash, which is 140,000 mega hash, I believe. Uh, if we go there, that would be 140,000. And they were getting 86 watts, would it have been? If they did the conversion from volts to watts, it would give us 86 watts, I believe. So correct me if I'm wrong, if I just done that calculation completely wrong. I did check it here. However, we're seeing profits of $1.85 now. Clearly, this is a very expensive FPGA, so it should be pretty efficient. Now, I'm not going to recommend you buy any of them. However, we have others tested here, which could be readily available for you guys. So if we go up, this is a TH53, also known as a VU33P. Now, you can get modified versions of these. This is the Forest Kitten, which is modified to have efficiency boosted with Team Red Miner Bitstreams, as it says there. I'm going to link all these in the description below and there is actually an offer on I believe if you buy three of these you get 20% off the whole thing on coastalcryptomining.com. I don't have any affiliate links this is just where I'm showing you to buy them. And we have a video from Richard Lowe I, I believe that he has a bunch of FPGAs if you want to hit him up you can buy some from him. So he's getting a giga hash of 39 and a power of 167. So when we take that into the mining calculator He's going 39,000 and 167. So way less efficient than the CVP 13. However, when we click calculate, we're looking at around 16 cents profit. So not exactly the most profitable, but it's still in the profitable range for you. And I think that these are the least costly SPJ boards. That's why they're, you know, not as efficient as these really expensive ones. I think they set you back. They are charging 997, but that's modified. So I think they sent you back around $800 to $700 per board. Now, this is still profitable. However, we have some other FPGAs that are in here. I believe if we go up, we have the U50C. So for the U50C, I have a link here. This is uh, from AMD. As you can see, these boards are very expensive at around $3,000 per board. Now, I don't know if you can get them cheaper anywhere else. This is from the official AMD website. And when we look at the profitabilities, if we go back here, we're getting 58 giga hash at around 112 watts. So let's take that into the mining calculator. 58,000 at 112 watts. So way more efficient than the VU33P or the Forest Kitten. If we click calculate, we're getting profits around 57 cents per day with a revenue of 86. Now I believe that the minimum payout for Ironfish is something like 10 on pretty much every pool. So you're going to be mining for around, 
uh, 20 days before you actually get a payout of Ironfish from just one of these cards. And the ROI on them is not going to be very good. I'm pretty sure people that have FPGAs either had them for Casper or they had them left over from Ethereum, so that's why they're still mining on them right now. And it's good that Team Red Miner constantly updating the bitch streams. So that was the U50, so as I said, $3,000 per board. Now moving on to the last one that I saw in this Discord, and this is the C1100. This will set you back 2300 2400 per board, so slightly less than the U50. And when we look at the profitability, one of the devs has put this in here. This is the C11100. We're looking at a gigahash of 64 and a power of 128. So this one is a little bit more efficient than the U50, 64,000 and 128. Slightly more efficient. Let's see what the profits are. Okay, so 62 cents per day. So all of these FPGAs are profitable. Um, you could even up the power cost a little bit on the U50, the C11100, and the CVP13. However, the Forest Kitten is probably not going to be profitable past around 12 cents per kilowatt hour. And just to put it into perspective, if we go onto benchmarks and look at the RTX 1490 here, we are getting 58,000 mega hash and the watts, as it says there, is 330. So we can go back and type that in there. So definitely doing more mega hash than the forest kitten, but the watts are extremely high. If we click calculate now, we are still profitable, but it's only five cents per day. Whereas with the forest kitten, it was, I believe we are at 40,000 and we are at 160, something like that. I So, you know, these FPGAs are probably four times better than the 4090 on Ironfish. Uh, that was the Forest Kitten. The U50 and the C1100 are going to be around 20 times better. And then the CVP13 is like, I don't know, 50 times better just because it's so expensive. So if you guys do have FPGAs, you can go into the Team Red Miner Discord. They provide a bunch of overclocks that you can get ready for that. And if you need to download Team Red Miner, I'll leave a link for that in the description. I'll also leave links for all of these in the description so you guys can actually check out if you want to buy one of these FPGAs. I don't recommend buying any of these. Maybe the Forest Kitten, if you can find an unmodified version, they probably go for around five, six, seven hundred, depending on who you're getting it from. So overall, they are profitable if you have one. I'd start putting it on Ironfish and there's probably going to be Radiant Coin bitstreams coming out so look out for them as well and possibly Kyla Coin bitstreams because I think Kyla Coin is SHA-3 which is ASIC and FPGA like usable you just need to create bitstreams for it. So keep an eye on the Team Red Miner Discord and keep an eye on the Team Red Miner GitHub to see if they take new releases for Radiant and Kyla Coin. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this.